Out here, I don't even think they got water. I think they really just got um snacks. Yeah, that's like the food out right there. Yeah, they got cereal. Do they have it here over here? It has dried mango, but it's eight dollars. Okay, oh, right eight dollars. How much was this? Dang. Okay, you got eight dollars for some dry mangoes? Oh, she got quiet. I think those was actually six. We don't even need mangoes. For real. Anything else we can get on our list? No. All diets are off right now, guys. I was doing really good on my diet, but we're in survival mode, so gotta get some cookies. Do they have canned foods in here? Do we need toilet tissue or anything, Dad? Do we need toilet paper and stuff? Oop, my nose. All right, so we made it to Target. Target is open, um, and the line is seems to be moving a little bit, so. We should be able to get in. I think, is this a super target? Um, this ain't no super target. Um, Hopefully it's a super target so we still have some food, but this is about the best we can get right now. We've been out here for two hours looking for a store on CVS only had cookies and salsa. So <laughs> we did get some salsa and we did get the cookies. Period. But um, yeah, so woo, we out here to, <laughs> it is cold. I'm literally shivering. Um, we found shelter a little bit. <laughs> you see all types of stuff out here. You really do. Maybe we should bring you below our butts, y'all. Y'all butts not colder than y'all head. 
No, my hair is more important than a butt. My butt is crazy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Can you put this one here? Oh, no. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> 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 That's not James Brown. Good night. Oh, hold on. Okay, I need to come back to Earth. Is this mine? No. It's kind of like a. Sweet. Sweet. We almost made it in. We're getting close. 20 minutes later. We're about to make it in. He said two. Okay. So this gotta be two. Y'all can go in first. Me and come in next. Just get in there. Jordan, this is the deal. Alright. We in Target, y'all. Thank God. Me and came in first. We made it. We're about to freeze our butts off. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, where's the food at? I don't know. Well, I feel like it must be this way. Oh yeah, that goes freezers down there. Huh? Well, I should have to look. You guys are just savage out here. <laughs> It feels so good in here. It, but it's not quite warm enough. It's really not warm. That's the it's not warm part. enough. It feels good. Because like, I'm still really cold in here. I'm defrosting. Oh, shoot. We're going to see what the food section got. Which is not looking that promising. Well, maybe we should try and get the water. You go get the water. I'll look for meat. Uh-oh, y'all. I ain't seeing no meat. What is this? I got this. This is not. This is not good. It's not good at all. That's the only protein I see so far. Let's see. If I can go on the other side. It was a success. We didn't get a lot of stuff. We got that. Ezel has a cart. My dad has a cart. So we got three carts full of stuff. So I think we should be okay. We couldn't find everything we wanted, but we, we found a lot of stuff that we needed, so which is good. So I think I don't know what Ezo's doing. Ezo, what are you gonna go for? Brownie. Oh, Ezo's getting a brownie, and then we'll be headed home. And we still have power, so that's good because a lot of people still don't. So, are you gonna bake some brownies? Yeah. Oh, oh no, we gotta get out of here. Uh oh, y'all. Alright. That was a mission, y'all. That took us like four hours just to get to the store. And get all this stuff. I guess I'll wait for Ezel. She went back to get vegetable oil. There she is. I think we're good. We got cheese. They have no lettuce. Nah, sis. Lettuce is pushing it. Yeah, I'm gonna push it some grapes. Uh, I guess we're alright. Alright. Alright, Isa, that cart flip. Honestly, let me keep recording because if you <laughs> flip, <laughs> you better cut that out. <laughs> I'm laughing, baby. I mean, it hasn't been horrible. It's been great being around family and stuff, but good God. I just went and took my 59th wash up. I haven't showered, just to give you guys some perspective. And I know this comes across whiny and I know people have it worse, but this is just not normal for for me. <laughs> um, I, The last shower I took was on Sunday. I have not had a shower since Sunday and tomorrow will be Thursday. I don't think I've ever gone that long, ever, without showering. That's how long we haven't had water. 
this is rough. This is rough living. I just. <sighs> so my flight is tomorrow at 11. Um, or it's, it's either tomorrow at 11 or I have an alternate for the evening, depending upon the weather, because it's supposed to storm again. So I'm hoping, oh my God, I'm hoping that this works out because I am ready to have a hot shower. I need to see my, my dogs. It's been forever. It's just been rough. Been rough. I'm definitely praying for all the families who have it worse, but my God, has this not been fun. So yeah, we got home. Luckily, like I showed you guys at Target, we were able to get most of the groceries that we needed. I think everybody kind of got home and just took turns doing some sort of bathing, whatever we could do in the bathroom. Luckily, we got bigger bottles of water, so that was a perk. We had a little bit of extra water to do a little bit more things with, you know. But my goodness, has it been a struggle, struggle city. And then trying to cook with no water, you guys, it is just. It's a lot right now. It is a lot. It would just be a blessing if this water kicked back on. But apparently there's another storm coming. I just hope my flight, I can make it out of my flight tomorrow and get home to some normalcy. And I know they're ready to get back to normalcy too because I know it's been a lot on everybody. We all out here just roughing it at this point trying to make it but you know luckily we have each other so we're able to laugh and smile through it but it is rough i'm gonna try to see this walk through to the end of my trip i did miss like four days but that's because well monday tuesday wednesday or monday sunday monday tuesday but that's because it was just too much going on with the weather and me miss not being able to leave and things like that but i'm gonna try to see these vlogs through i'm probably gonna break it up because i've been editing the first half and it's already like almost 30 minutes so of looking at what apartments I could see, but I'm gonna try to see this vlog through and show you guys the process of me actually getting home. So, just wanted to check in. I think, I think my, they're about to cook. I think we got stuff for tacos. We got a bunch of stuff, like, we were just trying to make something shake. You know what I'm saying? We were trying to make something work, something shake, do what we had to do. So I think that they're about to cook. I kind of want to watch, I didn't know that the, the new To All The Boys I Love part three it came out, so I kind of want to wash that. Oh, I really need to wash my hair. It like kind of smells. It's just <laughs> so yeah. When I get home, I wash my hair. It's not a big deal. Like I just cannot wait to have feel hot water on my skin. Like I'm going to take the hottest shower because all we've had is cold bottles of water to like clean ourselves with and like wash my face with and like brush my teeth with. Brush my teeth with cold water is fine, but everything else is just not. <laughs> So anyways, I think I'm going to watch Charlotte Boys I've Loved Before. Um, I think they're going to cook. I might even take a nap. Days like this, you kind of just got to sleep the day away. So yeah. Oh, this is my old bed. Gave it to my sister. I don't know if you guys remember these in the, this bed in the vlogs. But yeah, this is my old bed. Uh, probably need to get some water. I have not been drinking enough water. Which, try not to pee that much because so much work to flush the gut. Mmm, toilet. But I do need to drink some water. Let me check my flight and make sure it's still good. Chef Easy else? E in the kitchen cooking A with no water. But she making it happen. What we got on the menu, Chef Easy E? We're just making tacos, guys. <laughs> and she got it. some cod in the air fryer. And then she got some, what's this, broccoli? And then, isn't Jordan? Jordan, you making brownies? Mm, yeah. Jordan making brownies. We lit. Uh oh. Y'all want to know, like, my favorite seasoning is this. It just goes good on everything. What is that? This is complete seasoning. Oh, I've never even seen it says, before. Uh, non mm -hmm. Let me not try to put you. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Ezel be it's up. It's in the Hispanic owl, guys. In the Hispanic owl, whatever that is. She said it's her favorite. And she be cooking, cooking, so. She know. Okay, well. Jordan. Oh my gosh, she can't never stay in the system for more than five minutes. <laughs> Where'd you go? Come on now. You're supposed to be mixing this ground beef. I mean, this ground turkey, guys. It's turkey. Oh, excuse me. Stirring up the broccoli. 
<laughs> okay, let me get the kitchen. Bye. All right, guys. It's possibly the day that I'm leaving. I've taken my 7,000th wash up at this point. So I'm about to get my stuff out. Um, me and my dad are going to try to creep to the airport. So we're trying to leave a little bit early. Ezel is still asleep. So yeah, give me guys an update. If the next clip is at the airport, that means we made it. If not, we'll be hanging out another day. So. All right, y'all. Hopefully I can hear me with my AirPods in. Let's see. Turn them a little bit. Okay, y'all. I made it through security and currently just waiting for my flight. Something on my phone. Anyways, I'm at the security, currently waiting on my flight. Um, actually barely made it because traffic was just getting down here was back and there was so much ice on the road. So we were having to take different ways and then some of the roads were closed, um, I guess due to the ice. So usually where it's like a 25, 30 minute drive, took a little bit over an hour to get here. So, but I made it. And then when I got here, uh, Delta, their checkpoint was closed and I was like how am I supposed to get through security so I stood there for a minute I was confused and I realized I had to walk across the airport go all the way down and go they only have one checkpoint open go through their checkpoint and then had to walk all the way back up the airport with these bags but I'm grateful that I made it should be able to get home today my ride is set up to pick me up from the airport so Haley's again it was gonna be my other friend but um you know the trip just took a mind of its own and she has to work so i didn't want to inconvenience her so um got Haley. let me see if i can turn this brightness up got Haley to pick me up so we made it because i'm and i'm so thankful and i'm just really prayerful for the people that are still going through it like i said we had power after a day and a half i think but a lot of people still don't have power we still don't have water we don't have any running water um so but there are people who, like, when I was get, able to get on the internet, because, of course, we weren't really able to get on the internet because we didn't have service. But when I was able to get on the internet and just see, like, everything that people are going through, I was like, okay, we've really been blessed throughout this. And I'm super thankful that, you know, we were able to make it through. And I'm just really prayerful that for the people that had a way worse time and are still currently struggling with no power and no water in these freezing temperatures it's not even above freezing it's only like 30 degrees outside and to not have any source of heat even when we didn't have power like i said we had generators and a kerosene something a kerosene heater that my dad was able to put kerosene in to keep us warm you know so we were never like freezing or things like that so i'm super thankful for of course my family and and I'm just really prayerful for the people who are still going through, who didn't have those options and just had to sit in those freezing temperatures. And super prayerful to the family members of the people who lost their lives during this. I know that some people, you know, passed away due to carbon monoxide poisoning and different things like that and freezing. So it's just been a wild, wild, wild trip. And I'm just thankful to God that I'm able to go home where I have water, where I have heat where I can take a shower. You know, my family still can't take a shower. And this is day, what, seven of not being able to shower, have running water, and we're having to get snow water and boil, um, boil bottled water to wash dishes. So it's definitely been a, been a humbling trip and just a trip to make you thankful for what you do have. So anywho, y'all can see I'm at the airport. I'm at gate eight. I made it and I'm grateful that I made it and I'm just careful for a good flight. And when I get to Atlanta and picked up all the, oh, this is my dad calling me. One second. Okay guys, we have landed. I'm back in Georgia. Um, waiting for Haley. <sighs> I'm home guys, freshly showered. I washed my hair. So glad to be home. So glad to be home. I got home maybe an hour ago. I spent literally an hour in the shower just taking my time and just enjoying the hot water like, i think i've been cold for days at this point so i made it home i'm so thankful um my family's doing okay they still don't have water 
um, the power is spotty right now because there was another storm that was coming in as I was leaving and I was getting nervous because the snow was starting to come and I'm like oh my god they canceled my flight but we got out of there and there was a lady on there who accidentally rebooked a flight with her husband on two separate flights and his flight was at three mine was at 11 and it ended up that his flight was canceled um due to weather and he has to wait till tomorrow to possibly fly out if it doesn't get canceled so I'm just so grateful that I was able to fly out and get home again thoughts and prayers with everybody who is still going through it who doesn't have power who doesn't have water that is just that's just stuff that you take for granted like I am now like I'm not gonna take that for granted I'm so grateful to have heat electricity wi-fi water hot water to be able to bathe like you just get so used to having that daily you don't realize that there are people to this day that don't have this thing on the regular they don't have water and power on the regular so definitely was a humbling experience it made me a lot more thankful and appreciative of things i do have and i was definitely thankful to have gone through that with my family because we were able to keep it light and laugh and joke through it and not you know get too upset about everything that was going on so that was definitely a blessing Ooh, i'm not on my thing that was definitely a blessing to be with them but yeah just my prayers go out to the people in texas who've had it way worse lost family members who lost their homes through the water bursting like it's just been a mess so keep them in your prayers but i am home guys i made it safely and i just wanted to end the vlog thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little yerky mama takeover part one and part two there will be more coming um sundays will be reserved for only dog videos and then every so often i'll throw in a yorkie mama takeover so i'm so glad you guys enjoyed it anyways thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel check out our instagram we have some really cool content going up on there and also check out our website www.thoseyorkiestimes3.com where we have launched our bailey ray collection so definitely check that out thank you guys so much for the people who've already gone and purchased it, I appreciate you guys so much. And I love that you guys are loving the collection. And that is it, guys. I am about to just lay down and relax and rest because it's it's been... Mm, so I'm just happy to be home in my bed. And I can just lay down and watch TV and just relax and just unwind from this trip and make some decisions on my apartment. I will let you guys know which apartment I choose I choose a, a different vlog because I haven't made up my mind yet. But I thank you guys so much for your suggestions. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just rambling at this point. I just want to come on in the vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.